Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to introduce you to uh, an application that we have within Microsoft 365 called Project for the Web. Uh, before I do that, I actually want to uh, explain to you a few other applications that we had for quite some time. So historically, if you wanted to do, you know, project management, you know, task management, uh, the project manager and the team, you know, really did not have a lot of choices. So uh, for quite some time, pretty much forever, <laughs> we had uh, the uh, Microsoft Project Tool. Um, you can see an example of it right now on the screen. And this tool was always kind of made for project managers. It was not a tool uh, that you know, typically would be uh, accessible or managed by the regular team members. Now, the greatest advantage of this tool was the fact that um, you know, it was pretty powerful, right? And well, it and, and still is, the application still exists. Um, essentially, this tool uh, allows you know, project managers uh, to manage very complicated projects and you can manage uh, tasks and uh, you know, dependencies and uh, you can have tasks and subtasks and, and so on. You can manage resources uh, and um, you know, uh, project you know, schedule baselines and so on. It's a pretty, pretty powerful tool that uh, project managers always had forever. Now, uh, again, the downside of this tool was the fact that, first of all, uh, it required uh, the organizations to, you know, purchase this, uh, obviously, uh, application and uh, project managers had to download this application locally. Essentially, it's not a web-based application, it's just a desktop uh, software and that you would typically have on, a, let's say, project managers, you know, desktop and uh, that's where the project manager would obviously manage the project uh, from. Uh, so, yeah, the biggest downside was, uh, I guess, a few downsides is, you know, the fact that it's pretty complicated. It was not available to regular team members uh, and uh, you had to download the desktop version uh, of the application and run it locally on your computer. Ever since we got uh, essentially Microsoft 365, um, right, which is uh, a suite of uh, products, uh, you know, essentially it's a bundle of products that include SharePoint and Outlook and OneDrive and Teams. Uh, one of the applications that we also have uh, within Microsoft 365 is the Planner application. And this Planner application addressed a few uh, limitations that I just, uh, I just told you about that we have with Microsoft Project. So first of all, it's a web-based application. So there is nothing for you to download. Um, you can just literally access everything through the web browser. Uh, the tool is, the application is part of Microsoft 365. Uh, this application uh, does not have the complexity of the uh, Microsoft Project application. Uh, essentially, it's a pretty simple, uh, it's, a, it, it's a pretty simple, uh, you know, tool. Uh, and, you know, you can create, uh, and anyone can create. I mean, you don't really need to be just a project manager. The idea is that uh, it would be a kind of a team collaboration tool. Uh, what you see is what you get, uh, all right? And um, you can pretty much everyone, you know, the team members can create tasks and assign them to each other and, uh, you know, essentially assign priority and, you know, progress and comments and, you know, and so on. Uh, so that's, uh, that's definitely a benefit. So definitely a planner application resolves um, some of the limitations we have with Microsoft Project. Uh, again, it's web-based and again, it's meant for end users, not uh, you know, tech people and not uh, just for project managers. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, this, um, you know, this planner uh, application is uh, kind of lightweight in terms of capabilities. Uh, you cannot uh, manage uh, resources. You cannot uh, manage task dependencies. I mean, essentially, you can create tasks and organize them into these different buckets, uh, and that's about it, all right? You cannot say, hey, this task has to be completed prior to this one or something like that. Uh, something we can actually do with Microsoft Project, all right? So again, we have these two uh, uh, different applications. One is extremely complicated, and it allows you to do anything you want, but uh, we also have this lightweight application, which is a web-based application, but again, it lacks some of the capabilities we have with Microsoft Project. And this is where Project for the Web comes in, essentially this uh, application I'm going to tell you right now about. Uh, just like Planner, 
uh, it's part of Microsoft 365. And um, you do have to, uh, this is not part of the standard kind of license and you do have to purchase uh, uh, additional licensing to use this um, application. Uh, but essentially what it is, and let me just open one of the schedules I already have uh, in my uh, account. But essentially what it allows you to do, uh, it allows you to manage projects like you typically would in uh, Microsoft project, you know, that's the publication, um, but um, uh, online, all right, essentially in a web-based format. So it does, you know, I guess, resolve the limitation. Uh, so first of all, uh, at Just Like Planner, this is also web-based. There is nothing for you to download. Uh, and it does have um, uh, a lot more capabilities than Planner. Uh, just like in Microsoft Projects, you can uh, create tasks and subtasks, uh, and you can also create dependencies, right? You can create dependencies between tasks, just like you can with Microsoft Project. If you notice, it's kind of has the same look and feel as Microsoft Project, except it's online. Now, with that being said, um, because this project for the web is relatively new, uh, we still don't have lots of capabilities you would typically expect in, uh, you know, in uh, the desktop, uh, you know, application that we have in desktop application. I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, as time goes by, uh, I'm pretty sure Microsoft will keep pushing lots of capabilities from the desktop application to the web-based version. So we will be able to pretty much achieve, uh, you know, if not all, maybe most of the things we can in a web-based, uh, in a web-based version of this, which is essentially a project for the web. Now, uh, it does get a bit more complicated than, than this. Um, there is actually, um, you, you know, a bit more to learn about Project for the Web in terms of its interaction with uh, the rest of Microsoft 365 and SharePoint and Microsoft 365 Group. So what I plan to do, this was just kind of more of an inter introductory, you know, video to Project for the Web. Uh, in the future videos, I do plan to expand and explain to you some of the nuances of this application and i will explain to you the different views that we have here uh, how to work with uh, you know project for the web uh, internally externally uh, how it is related to uh, microsoft 365 groups and sharepoint uh, once again i will uh, make sure to record those videos down the road but for now i just wanted to kind of introduce you to this uh, application um, make you aware that it's available uh, and it kind of, you know, I think this is kind of the future, uh, right, of task management. Uh, and because, uh, you know, essentially it just mitigates all the limitations that we had in, that we have with Planner as well as Microsoft Project. All right, so that's all I wanted to uh, mention in this quick video. Hopefully you learned something new as always. Happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.